They are still following us. Still oh, oh crap, they are still following us. <laughs> So we've got monkeys following us and they are just trying to protect their colony. In this video, I uncover some hidden treasures within the Belizean jungle with the help of two Mayans and jungle gurus. I get to taste some jungle delicacies. This is the first time trying termites. And learn how to stitch wounds the Mayans way. Yeah, so oh God! It's true. Yeah. Oh. My name is Mickey. Keep watching. Did you know more than half of Belize is still made up of subtropical jungle and rainforests? I am Mickey, and in this video, I'm going to show you some of the good stuff hidden within the Belizean jungle, especially medicinal plants. But before we go into the jungle, I'd like to say if you are new and you'd like to share my experience or you'd like to know how you can experience these places yourself, please consider subscribing and coming on my journey. Thank you very much. Now, let's explore the jungle. Um, today, I am privileged to have two trackers with me. Um, these guys are locals and whenever people come to use this jungle, these guys pass on their knowledge, local knowledge. And I've got Mr. Bal. Pop. And RZF. Yes, they know the jungle back to front. And they are going to show me hidden treasures in the Belize jungle. And come and learn with me. This is um, one of the most um, useful trees that can help us a lot out in the jungle. So as you see here, we have this kind of tree which is called the Gombalimbo tree. It's a very famous tree. Okay. Um, it has a nickname that people call it the tourist tree. Because when foreigners or tourists come to Belize, they go out in the Keys for a couple days in the sun. They get a suntan or a sunburn. After that, their skin starts peeling off like that. That's why it has that famous name um, which is called the tourist tree. But apart from that, it's a very useful tree and it helps us a lot because we use this a lot in the, in the jungle whenever we get like wet in the hot weather and we have a lot of rain. After that climate change that we are in the, with, especially with the uniform and with our combat, what we do is that we take, we move the bark, we take the sap from that tree and we rub it on the affected area. So when we do that, apply that a couple of times, we see that the pickle heat is all gone. It so works. it's like um, heat burns. Yes, you see. Yeah. it works excellent. It's a very good tree. That's why it's called the miracle tree of the jungle. Apart from that, you have like headache. You can use the leaf. You crush it in water. This one. This same tree. All right. And then you wash your head with it. And you see the heat is all disappears in a couple of minutes. All right. So yeah, nature has got its own um, sun cream. In case you get burned, that tree will saw you out. And if you get headache too, the leaves will saw you out. So that is our first hidden treasure in Belizean jungle. Alright guys, um, right here at the jungle, we call it jungle a supermarket that provides us with food also. So right here I'm going to show you guys uh, termites that, that you could use for food. Just push the stick inside the nest. This is a termite nest. Yeah. Just, you'll see thousands of termites oh, yeah. here. You know, it's quite it's a big one. So lots of termites? Yeah, lots of termites. And that's good food. Good food. In case you get stuck. Stay with stuck and you or really, really need to eat. Eat it, see? Yeah. Oh, yes. You know what, let me try it. I want to try this. It's like eating a fried chips. Oh, fried chips. <laughs> they don't bite, do they? Nah. That's not oh bad. god. Good protein. Mm. Mm. And also, another one. This is the first time trying termites. Another it's one. tasteless. I didn't chew anyway. I just swallowed them. <laughs> I hope they died in my stomach. <laughs> and then another one. 
This one is like a jungle straw. If you end up in the jungle, ah. you find some coconuts. The same way how they serve like in the keys. Ooh. So they are natural straw. Let's cut it. See the halogen? Ah, so jungle, jungle straw. straw. Right here. So that this can one. be your straw. Just in case if you are serving also, you find like a small spring of water. I won't be able to get a container to fill it in. Get this jungle straw, put in the water, and there you go. That's cool. Very, very. Try something every day. So when you get your termites, the termites is just small, but I'm sure they'll fill you up. If you are hungry and you are starving in a jungle, lost somewhere, and you have a termite a nest like that, I don't know, is it called nest? Termite nest. Yeah, termite nest. That will sew you so up. So the jungle is the supermarket, isn't it? And you get everything. You get medicine, you get food, you can get water. So Aaron will show us another hidden treasure. This is the um, the red water vine. We have the green, we have the uh, original one which is the grape vine, which we know as a brown vine. This is the red one and we have the green one. So we have three kinds that provides a lot of liquid. Plus, as I said, there's loads that we know that they are medicinal vines that we see that they are good for us. We drink it because we know, but if you don't know, then what you do, you have to go through the steps that I will be doing. First, what you need to do is that cut one end. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh. You see the difference? Nice, yeah. Okay. So, you get a taste? Yeah. Crystal clear. This is like crystal oh, water. This is no really need to nice. Filter. You see, I thought you could just drink it, but you need to make sure that it is drinkable. If it's clear water, then you can drink it. If it's red or if it's um, white sap, please don't drink it. So that's a tip. Food. Cabbages. Cabbages, yeah. This one has a small palm tree. This one is called the Give and Take Palm. Also, many of the British stores that, uh, and call it the Bastard Tree due to the thorns. Oh. You see all the dangerous thorns here? Yeah. So when they walk in the jungle, accidentally they hit their feet or their hand into it and they say, oh wow. <laughs> yeah. But it's eatable. They actually, what we're going to do is going to take out the, the cabbages right in the middle of it. They're going to cut the palm tree. Just a small cabbage that we'll give you. Put it completely. And just move the leaves until uh, you hit the center of the actually palm tree. Right here, you just open it until you reach to the top of it. This is the cabbage right here, see? You see where it's quite look uh, soft. Nice and soft. Alright. See? Ooh, I like the one that fell. And that is what you Oh my eat. god. A little bit bitter. A little bit bitter, yeah. Mm. But, but yeah. Add, but nice. also again, it can be like medicinal uses. Alright. Oh, if you have like an um, upset stomach, uh -huh. bitter is very good for upset stomach. Oh wow. Cabbage. Eat raw. Mm. No problem. You will live. Nice. It's, it's really. It's, it's like a soft coconut. Yeah. Soft coconut. A bit bitter, but if you are hungry, this will give you some fiber in your system. Again, there's yes, another man. one here. As you can see, it's very dangerous. Yeah. This one right here. Ah. This one known as the basket tea tie. Uh huh. <laughs> Nearly. With, with the same stem of this, you could do basket with it. Ah. So, how you get the cabbage from this? Go right on the point. Slide the machet, your, your knife straight through. So you're actually moving the, the, the thorns on it. Can you just open it? Ah. And now, nice. It doesn't look that dangerous again. It doesn't. Ooh, so soft. Uh -huh, that will be the cabbage. This one is not good. What is it called again? Basket titai. Basket titai? Yeah. Basket to tie. See the cabbage right here? Yes. See the cabbage? 
This one is much. Oh, uh, this one is more tasty. Yeah, mm. it's much sweeter. This one is nice. Yeah, then it's better. Yeah. Try this way. Very nice. It's nicer. That's bitter. Oh, really nice. Yeah. I actually want to finish it all. Yeah, see, they look it's very dangerous to the yeah. horns and everything, but oh, actually, that one is really give you nice. a nice, nice cabbage. Aaron has also another tip for us, another hidden treasure in Belize jungle. Okay, what we have here is you see here we have some small holes in the ground. Here and here we have some ants there. They are called the leaf cutters. Okay. But we as the Mayas, we know that whenever we get a cut in the jungle, we cannot use or we don't have any needles to stitch ourselves. So what we do is that we use these ants as hold on stitch. hold on i saw this in my one of my favorite movies apocalypto <laughs> and i thought it was a fiction for aaron to mention this to me now is like gold don't tell me that was that is real so it's, it's real right it's real right so that's the ants see that's the ants that the, there. Kid, um, the, the mother used to st stitch yeah. the kid in apocalypto so what you do is that um when these nests are like during the day they are like all inside in the night they go out looking for leaves okay. so what we do we come here and we start stamping, stamping uh -huh. over the nest like to wake them up uh -huh. and then they start coming out yeah so even we have bigger ants like this wow. so what we do is that it's biting isn't it so they bite yeah so when they bite oh god it's like true okay. oh god and that's the way when you keep oh wow like, turn it close it's like stitching oh my stitching. god this is yeah. it's this is real wow so. i am in the belize jungle and i'm learning a lot so fish fish wine all right, um, we know about vines like we use for drinkable, and for water, mm -hmm. but this one here is we use it for traps. For traps. Let's okay. say you end up in a survival, you see a, a, a small creek with a lot of fishes in it, yeah. and you don't have no fishing tools and stuff like that. Yeah. So naturally, again, in the jungle, there's a lot of stuff that what you learn by right. time going up. Yeah. So this one is used for fish, capture fish. What it does, you cut the, the vine into small pieces, then you're getting like in a big bunch. So it's called fish vine. Fish vine. Okay. Then you blush it up. What, what actually you want is to get the juice from the vine. And at the end you find like a small pond, small pool of water. Then where's the fish in it? Then you chop the, the vine into the, into the water. Mm. So what it does, all the juices from the vine will now be penetrated through the water. Of what it does is take out the oxygen from the water. Ah. Then after that, you just go pick up the fish with your bare hand. All of them will be coming on the surface of the water, oh, okay. trying to breathe out. Oh, cool. So we call this for fish trap. Fish trap. Yeah. It's, this is the only wine that I uh, find that you could see in the jungle with a like a triangle shape. Yeah. See? Yeah. All the rest will be. All right. right. Oh, okay. Good. So, yeah, I'm learning a lot from the Belize jungle and I've got the best people to do this. Mayans. Um, and fish, yeah. this is what we call a cow foot leaf. Okay. This is a source of, of food. Oh, that smells good. So what we do, we get the leaves like this now. You're going to bake, do a bake fish. Yeah. You get the fish, you wrap them in the leaves. Yeah. You get as many of these. Then you you tear it up. Then you mix it with the fish, and this gives you a nice, nice it's taste. It's like spicy, yeah, isn't it? Spicy. Yeah, spice. You give the fish a nice yeah. taste. That's really nice. Eat. One of the best trees, yeah. You do not want to brush against one of these. This is another source of vine that you will get and water from. Yes. This one, you know, this one is what you call an, the tea vine. The tea vine. It will drink the water right away. The water is a little bit taste sweetish. Okay. And have some nice smelling. All right. 
Then later on you could um I will show you, I will try. Oh. You see all these reactions that I am giving is legit like the smell is so good. So, so. Yeah. So what you do after this when you drink the you finish with the water, then you could just peel off the bark. Yeah. What you use is the, is the piece inside. You boil it. Yeah. You know, whatever mug you have, you just boil it. Then you add in sugar or cream, your own flavor. Yeah. Your own flavor, then from there you drink it. It's nice jungle tea. Yeah. So, so you can boil this. Yeah. And it's got a nice smell to it. And you can put sugar in it and you can drink tea. Oh, yeah. So that's why it's called the tea vine. Tea vine, jungle okay. tea vine. Jungle tea vine. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Stuff. yeah, it's got a bit of sweet sweetness to it. Mm. And if you see around the jungle, yeah. we have a lot of beautiful vines. Oh wow. You see this beauty here. This one is beautiful yeah, it's on anywhere to the top. Mm, this one is this one is a different one. It's like a chain, isn't it? Yeah, like what do you call this one? It's called a chain vine. <laughs> <laughs> this one is the medicinal vine. Medicinal vine. Medicinal vine. This is quite bitter. Oh, okay. You could see the thorns. Some big thorns it has in small leaves. Yeah. So what we use this for is, this is the jungle remedies mm -hmm. for malaria. Ah. Malaria. Malaria. Do people get malaria in Belize or is well, it just dengue? Well, before people get malaria, so it's not a lot right now. Yeah. yeah it's quite it's done a lot. So this is very, very, very good medicine. Mm. So we've been taking it most of the time because um, most of the time we Maya still practice and whatever. Yes. All traditional that we know. So this is uh, the bark that you use. So what you do, you could rather boil it or you could just yeah just. Peel off the bark and just drop it in your water bottle. In your water bottle, okay. Wait like this, like 10 minutes, 20 minutes. This one is the bitter one. The bitter. Yeah. So it's bitter. So if you don't have water with you, although you're dying, you're having fever, don't what try we this. do, get a piece of wine and we just chew it. Ah. Just keep the, the piece in your mouth, yeah. chewing it, swallowing the juice. It still helps. Alright. Get rid of the so fever. The medicinal vine is good for fever and malaria. Yeah. So this would have been growing up, this would have been one of my best vines because I used to get malaria once every year. Yeah. yeah. So Me. That's the old Mayas, uh -huh. they used to do, they reproduce a lot in those times before. Uh -huh. And they used to have kids by dozens. So that's why they used to drink this a lot. And this cleans your system, even if you get up to 90 years old. Oh, it still okay. Helps you. All right, so all right, all right, all right. Okay. <laughs> I get what you mean. Yeah. So, this is a jungle Viagra. It, it's like that. It, it does like that. <laughs> for, the, for the Mayan. It's medicine. Yeah. But at the same time, it cleans all right. everything what is inside of you. Okay. From here down. Ah. Come to Belize. There are all these to experience, to see. Ready. Uh, tell you what, when, uh, when Bao told me to bring water, I said I'll be all right. I was actually thirsty. And now we've got monkeys shouting at us now. I think they are there. <laughs> Make sure they don't fall in your eye. Oh, you yeah. should go. <laughs> We've got some monkeys. Are they fighting? Oh no. no. They are telling us to run away, right? They're gonna be pissing on us. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we've got monkeys chasing us now. They want us away. And they will be pissing on you if you don't run away. <laughs> oh. If you don't go, these monkeys piss on you. <laughs> So they are actually chasing us out. Oh god. <laughs> oh crap, they are still following us. <laughs> so we've got monkeys following us. 
and they are just trying to protect their colony. So if we don't get away, they will just piss on you. Or maybe do something else that I don't know. Throw branches on you. Yeah, they can throw trees on you as well. So there you have the beautiful people. We took a walk in the Belizean jungle where we saw uh, a lot of treasures hidden with the help of Aaron and Baal. Uh, I've learned a lot today and it's been a fun adventure, especially when we were being chased by monkeys. Baal and Aaron, thank you very much for Welcome. showing us this. And guys, if you're watching this and you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Like this video because it helped me so much. And see you in the next one. Better Belize. Bye.